Hello everybody. So kilo let's sell a dumbbell check for those who don't know it's called steamed buns in English, I think. I hope. But anyway, I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet corn in the mix because I don't just do things just the normal way, okay? Anyway, let's get into it. Okie dokie folks, so we're gonna start off by mixing all our dry ingredients, much like how we do whenever we bake, because hey. That's what we gotta do. We gotta separate the dry from the wet. Anyway, follow all the ingredients and the measurements in the description below. So do check that out so that you do everything correctly. Then we're gonna mix everything together and make sure you mix it very well because heesh, yeast can be a little tricky sometimes. Then we're gonna add our butter right in the center there where we made the hole. Then we're going to add our little oil, of course, followed by our milk, which is basically all the wet ingredients. You can already see, so I don't need to necessarily tell you what's what. Then I'm going to use my hand to firmly and very softly mix everything together and make sure you mix it all the way till it doesn't stick at the bottom of your bowl, much like so. And then you're going to do what I'm doing. And you're basically going to be kneading it out for a while up until it has that elastic -y vibe that you saw. Then we're going to flour our surface and then we're going to knead further. And remember, in the process of kneading, sometimes it does take a little bit of arm strength. But hey, do not worry. Keep kneading up until you've soaked up all that flour on your surface. Like so. You can see it's already dry because... I've kneaded and kneaded and kneaded and made sure I soaked up all the flour on the surface. Nothing goes to waste. Then I put it in a little bowl like so. As you can see, nice and soft and a little bit airy. Then I'm going to put it in a bowl. But before I do that, I'm going to oil it just a little bit on the outside. And of course, in the bowl, we have to oil it a bit so that when it rises, it doesn't stick. Then we're going to cover it and we're going to let it rest for an additional hour, if not an hour and a half, so that it has the proper rise. Now I'm going to prepare my sweet corn. Then I'm going to add boiling water and microwave it for two minutes. And then I'm going to move on and put my pots on the stove, which by the way, it's on medium heat. And then I'm going to add these utensils in here so that my bowls do not float around when they're inside. Make sure you add just enough water that it doesn't go above your utensils much like so now i'm going to check my dough make sure that it has rised and look it looks so great so good so good so good anywho then we're going to take it outside of its bowl then we're going to flour the surface and we know what we're going to do next the same thing we always do and that's knead knead and knead some more now, once you're done kneading, and if you've used the option of having sweet corn, you're going to separate or maybe divide your dough into two pieces so that the one side is the one with the sweet corn and the other is just the plain ledombolo. So for the people who've decided to use sweet corn, this is me right now adding the sweet corn, but you're going to add it gradually. You're not going to like dump everything together because it's obviously not going to stick you know it's, it's sweet corn it's one of those little little unruly things but once you're done kneading and putting everything together then it should look like that and for those who didn't use the sweet corn that's okay we're just going to knead it knead it knead it and then we're going to proceed by oiling our bowls or you can even use a little bit of oil but i use some cooking spray because he my oil is getting finished guys Anyway, so you spray, 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 and then you add your dough inside the bowl so that it rises for an additional five minutes. Cover it up and then move it to the side. And once that's done, we're now going to add our bowls inside our pots. And make sure you put it nicely in the center and then cover it up with a lid. Now, sometimes the heat can be a bit much. So I'm going to use a trick that I've learned from like my mom and my grandmother and that's add a big old brick on top of your lid so that when it boils up it doesn't pop off. Now you're going to let that cook or steam for about 30 minutes and then once they're done they should look a little something like this. 
and you can go ahead and do the whole toothpick situation so that you can check if they've cooked all the way through or steamed all the way through but you get the gist of it right and if they are great then you can go ahead and move them off the stove and let them cool down for an additional maybe five ten minutes depending on how cool or how warm your room is and once they're done cooling they should look a little something like this nice and soft and not too hard not too hot some people do prefer to eat them while they're still hot but i'm not one of those people because i have a very sensitive stomach and sometimes the stomach says if you eat anything that is a cookie or a dough and it's too too hot then you will run 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 anyway once that's done you can cover it up if you're not going to use it immediately Maybe put it aside for like another 5 or 10 minutes or I don't know when you're going to use it. But yeah, if you have other sides that you want to do, then go ahead and do that while they're still covered. But yeah, if you plan on eating it like me immediately, then we're going to do this. We're going to just scope it out and then we're going to go ahead and get the knife and start preparing our meal. So I'm going to cut it up into little sections, put that one on the side, and then I'm going to show you how soft it came out just like that do you see how nice and soft it looks it looks so great and trust me it tastes just as great it is like one of the most amazing things that could ever melt in your mouth if melting was a thing with le dombolo but gay yeah, you understand what i'm saying so the sweet cold one pretty much the same thing you're going to do exactly actually the same thing you're not going to move far away from what it is you're doing you're going to prepare it and listen don't be like weirded out if it like falls out with like a little bit of sweet corn it's a normal thing hey, okay the sweet corn is embedded inside but i mean it will tear off a little bit here and there but for the most part it will stick within the bun okay like so doesn't it just look great like i just had to eat that piece because who I was hungry. Look how nice it looks. So soft. So good. So good. And listen, you can enjoy this with just about anything. Oxtail, deep fried meat. It's up to you. Enjoy it. 